Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about a major change that is going to be coming to millions of Samsung Galaxy smartphones, and this is going to be basically for every Samsung phone whether it is a flagship, whether it is a mid-range, if it's One UI 7.0, 6.0, it's not gonna matter. This change is coming. I don't want you guys to get surprised when it happens. Now, this is not gonna be optional, so I want you guys to brace for impact, but it's also not a bad thing. So let's dive in and get started right away. So let me explain what's going on. So here we have a Samsung Galaxy S25. Here we have an S23. Now, when it comes to my voice assistant, this one by default is running Gemini Google Assistant. That is the AI-powered Google Assistant. So when I press and hold, what's the weather like today in New York? In New York, the forecast is around 43 degrees and cloudy. That's what right I get. Let me just pause that. So that's what I get. And that is the Gemini Assistant. It is AI-powered. It is much more capable than what many people have right now, which is this one right here. That is the old Google Assistant, okay? So let me show that to you. What's the weather like right now in New York? In New York, it's 42 and cloudy. Tonight, the forecast okay. is around 43 So that is the cloudy. old Google Assistant. You can see they are also different when you uh, launch them. This is the new one. That's the Gemini AI-powered Google Assistant. Now let me just quickly give you an example of how much more complex Gemini is. So here's an example. Write me a C++ program. Uh, make me a basic calculator. Get me the code. Int main, double num one. Okay, I'm going to pause that. Now it just wrote me a C++ program that I can copy and paste with all kinds of detailed descriptions, okay? This is actually a working program, very basic program, but it can do that. Obviously, the Google Assistant cannot do that. Write me a C++ program, make me a basic calculator, get me some code. Here are the top search results. Okay, so that's not going to work. This gives me the exact thing I asked for. That is just an old school assistant. Now, here's the big change. Old Google Assistant is going to be discontinued per Google. So it says right here, the Assistant experience on mobile is going to upgrade to Gemini. So the Google Assistant that you are used to for the last five, six, seven years, it's going to be gone and it's going to become Gemini Assistant, which is this one right over here. And this is just going to happen. In fact, if I scroll down, this is Google's website, by the way. If I scroll down, you can see it says, what's next for Google Assistant? That is this one right here. This one is Gemini, remember? It says, over the coming months, we are upgrading users from Google Assistant to Gemini. So from the one you saw here to this one. And later this year, it says, the classic Google Assistant will no longer be accessible on most mobile devices. It's also not going to be available for new downloads on mobile app stores. So it's going to be gone. If you guys constantly use your Google Assistant, when the change happens, I don't want you guys to get shocked. Now let me show you something else. You can go to the Play Store on any Android phone and you can download the Google app, which is this one right here. So if I go to my Google app right now, if I tap on my icon here, and if I go to my settings, look at what I can do. If I go to Gemini, which is right here, at the bottom, I can change my assistant from Gemini to Google Assistant. This feature is going to be disappeared. By the way, right now, if you have Google Assistant as your default, let me just tap on switch. If you have that as your default, you can switch to Gemini right now to get yourself used to the change. Now I just switched to the old Google Assistant, which is gonna be, look at this. That's the old Google Assistant, just like this one. All right, so now if I wanna go back to Gemini, I go back into the settings, and I tap on Gemini again, and that would activate, it's, it's gonna ask me to activate Gemini, which I wanna do right now. Continue, now we're good to go. We have Gemini once more. 
By the way, this is going to be much better. I just want to let you know that you're not losing anything here. It's just going to be better because it is going to be AI powered. But on this one, we have the same application. Uh, if I go to Google, so we're going to tap right here and we're going to go to settings. All right. And then if I go to Gemini, you can see this one is going to ask me to switch to it because I never used it before. But right now, no matter what I do, I have the option to switch back and forth from this area right here. At the bottom, you have the option to change digital assistance. So right now, you can do this on any phone. You can switch back and forth. But soon, that's going to disappear, and all you're going to be left with is going to be the Gemini Assistant. You can read the details right here. Pause the video or use the link down below and I got the same exact article down below for you guys to read and get all the details. Alrighty. Alright, so that's it. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Drop them down below. Let me know for now. Have a fantastic day. See you in the next video.